Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the channel and uh, welcome to my quickie series where I take five or so minutes of your time to discuss some key concepts within Dwarf Fortress and how you might apply them uh, in your gameplay. This is going to be a little bit of a unique episode uh, because I'm going to discuss or walk you through how to install DF Hack and most importantly how to use Stone Sense in your gameplay so you can view your fortress in all its isometric glory. So this being a quickie video, my five minutes starts now. Okay, what is DF Hack? Uh, DF Hack is a memory editing library for Dwarf Fortress. It's been around for a long time and I was using it when I started playing Dwarf Fortress about 11 or so years ago, uh, back in the ASCII days. And it is essentially a a great tool uh, to modify your Dwarf Fortress gameplay. And in this video, I want to talk to you about Stone Sense because two days ago it was just released or updated to work with the uh, Steam version, which is a lot quicker than I thought it would happen. So that's great. Uh, what is Stone Sense? So, Stone Sense is a tool that allows you to see your fortress in all its isometric glory. Look at that, whoa, graphics, amazing. Uh, as you can imagine, back when it was ASCII days and trees were green exclamation marks and arrows, etc., this was just gobsmackingly useful. Um, but it is still just as applicable today, even though we've got much more uh, greater fidelity with the graphics now, and it is a great to play the Steam version. This is still a tool that allows you to look at your fortress in an isometric view. And this is just one of the uh, things that DF Hack lets you do, and, but that is the point of this video. And here's uh, some mining, just mine everything out of that <laughs> part of the mountain. We'll go all the way down into, all the way down to magma and hell once you once you find it okay so that's what it looks like how do we install it okay so go to your preferred web browser and I'll put this link in the description but if you go to github um, click on the link in the video uh, sorry in the comments section uh, you'll come to this screen and DF Hack 50.05 alpha 1 is the version that you're after. The installation instructions are here. If you click on that, it'll bring you to this screen and you can read through that for whether uh, for Windows, Mac OS, etc. Um, scroll down, once you go to the GitHub, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And uh, DF Hack. 50.05 alpha 1 windows 64 bit dot zip click on that that will download ah that will download all of this here and all you need to do is find your the root file or root directory for dwarf fortress for me it's um, under steam steam apps common dwarf fortress and you copy all that and install it in here. And it will ask you to replace the SDL.dll. Uh, click yes. And that's all. That's it. All these files will be put across um, and you will be able to use DF Hack now. Uh, if you don't have the data file in your root directory uh, for Dwarf Fortress, then you're probably in the wrong folder. So uh, this hack folder needs to be in the same folder. Uh, as data is okay, so that's how you know if you're in the right area. That's where mine's installed, yours might be installed somewhere else. So now we get into the game, and you can see here you'll have a DF hack in the top left. And when you load the when you load the game up, you'll actually load with two screens. You load with this and this. This screen will pop up first. Um, you go, oh, where's Dwarf Fortress gone? Just Alt Tab and Dwarf Fortress will be loading uh, concurrently. So you can click on here and you can type in, uh, you can just 
use your mouse, GUI launch or minimal. Minimal just means it'll be a little bit up the top here. And all you have to do is type in stone sense, click enter. And then this will appear. It will be minimized. I have found that if you're using Steam and then you get the press alt shift for your friends to come on and you maximize before you clear that, it will crash the game. Okay, so make sure you press shift tab, get your friends screen to appear, cross it off and then you can maximize and you shouldn't have a crash. Took me a little bit to figure that out um, and that seemed to be triggering crashes for me. And that's it guys. So look, I hope this helped you. My five minutes is now up, five minutes and five seconds. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will talk to you all in my next video.